Now we all know that the second you drive that new car off the lot, it's going to depreciate quite a bit, but there's definitely several cars that you're going to lose a giant chunk of money. As a matter of fact, there's five very common new cars that you're going to lose over 50% of its value within the first five years. And that's a giant chunk of money. Now I will say on a side note, all of these cars, you'll get a great deal if you buy them used. But if you're going to buy them new, you're going to lose a lot of money. So here's the top five new cars you should never buy. Number one, the Ford Expedition. This is a large, arguably very luxurious SUV produced by Ford since 1997. Its average new cost is between $55,000 and $72,000. However, in five years, you're going to lose 51.4% of its cost, making the average loss around $34,000. Number two, the Audi A6. This is the fifth generation from the original Audi 100. And the A6 has been produced since 1994. This is a four-door mid-size luxury sedan that costs between $57,000 and $70,000. But in five years, you're going to lose 51.5% of the cost of that car, making your average loss around $34,000. Number three, the Lincoln Navigator. This is a large SUV by Lincoln. And it's been produced since 1997. Now this is the counterpart to the Ford Expedition. However, the big difference is it's going to cost you on average $80,000 to $110,000. And within five years, this luxury SUV is going to lose 51.9% of its overall cost. Meaning the average loss of the Lincoln Navigator is going to be around $42,000. Number four, the Cadillac Escalade. This is a large, very luxurious SUV by GM's Cadillac, produced since 1998. This is three rows of very smooth luxury, and it's going to cost you between $78,000 and $100,000. Within five years, you're going to lose 52.3% of its overall cost, making the average loss around $55,000. And finally, number five, the BMW 7 Series. This is a large, full-size luxury sedan by BMW that's been produced since 1977. There's been seven generations of this large four-door luxury car, but it's going to cost you between $87,000 and $160,000. Within five years, you'll lose 56.9% of its cost, making the average loss around $62,000. So there you go. There's the top five new cars you should never buy. And again, on a side note, they make great used cars. My brother just bought a used Cadillac Escalade and he got a great deal on it. So any thoughts on that? Definitely put it in the comments below. If there's some I didn't mention, put those in the comments below as well. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button. And thank you for watching this episode, Car Classics.